This segment of the 2017 Texas A&M Signing Day Show is brought to you by Regions, official bank of the SEC. We remain right here in our lounge from 12th Man Studios in the south end zone of Kyle Field. We continue with our chats with our coordinators and now our OC, and that is Noel Mazzoni. He enters his second year in 2017. And Coach, uh, thanks for taking so much. Uh, thanks so much for taking the time. Obviously a big day for you guys. Yeah, it's good being here, Stephen. We'll see you guys. I haven't seen you guys in a while. It's been too long. Yes, it's exactly. been too long. Yeah. He's been over there styling his hair. Yeah. He's getting yeah. it right for the thanks set. Thanks a while. I did, I did cut it this morning, <laughs> by the good. way. Yeah, just for you. <laughs> Looking sharp for signing day. That's always key. <laughs> Coach, uh, you think about the 2017 season coming up. First and foremost, what do you feel like is an offensive strength of this team? Um, I like our guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think just the um, who they are, the, char the, the character of this group. I'm really excited about the young guys that are coming in. I mean, we had a chance to bring in four or five guys here at mid-year, mm -hmm. which is really a, a plus for us. A couple really who I'm excited about, both our quarterbacks that are coming in, Kellen and Connor, and plus, you know, Jamon and Rashad and Hez and, um, you know, that group that's coming up. So it's, it's I can't wait for spring ball to get started. Mm -hmm. Coach, on, on the flip side of things, thinking about this offense uh, this spring and, and going into next fall, what do you guys uh, want to improve on most uh, before the season kicks well, off? You know, uh, Stephen, as your offense always takes on a little bit different personality every year, and a lot of that depends on the cat taking the snaps. And, you know, with Trevor, uh, you know, he brought so much to our offense as a runner and making decisions in our running game, so we kind of geared a lot towards his strength which was that, and then we had the deep ball or the, you know, the big throws with Josh and, and Speedy and Ricky. Um, so it, I think spring's a time where we're gonna kind of find out who we are. I know one thing for sure is that we gotta be able to run the football and we gotta be more consistent. I thought at times we were really good. Um, I don't know what we averaged, like 211 or so yards a game, but I think we have to be consistent at the end of the year. That's why I'm excited about Coach Sullivan and JT signing all them big cats that they got. <laughs> you know what they say, speed slows down, but big yeah. stays big. Right? All five of the old linemen already in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. And, I mean, they're all 6'5", 300-plus type guys and, mm -hmm. and athletic. I went and watched a couple of them play uh, basketball, and it's amazing. You'll see a 330-pound guy lead the fast break. You know, that's a pretty good sign. <laughs> well, the guys that are going to benefit the most from those linemen, the quarterback position, of course, we – Talked about the two signees, Kellen and Connor. But you also got two guys on campus that are saying, hey, don't forget about me, Nick Starkle and Jake Hubenek, who's been here uh, through thick and thin for the Aggies. Talk about that competition moving into the spring. What are you most excited about? What do these guys bring to the table? No, I mean, it's a great room. Um, you know, with Hoobs and Stark uh, and Nick, both of those, I thought Nick really uh, flashed some signs. Obviously, we all, we all know Jake. We've seen him in games and, and coming and do a great job for us. I think he's ready now to take the next step. I think there's going to be great, you know, great competition at any position makes you better at that position. And I think we've got a room now that's going to be very competitive with some really talented kids. Um, I think we're, you know, as far as, as guys in the pocket and guys being able to distribute the ball, I like where, where, where their heads are. Now it's just a matter of how quickly they can digest the offense and quickly digest the four plays that I, that I know, all right, and become good at it, right? <laughs> Uh, last year, Trevor Knight, he was named the starter after spring ball. Do you and Coach Sumlin put a timeline on this no. competition? It just organically let it let it play out. I just know by September, what is it? One second. Or, by September 2nd. We need second, one on September 2nd. We need one on ball. September 2nd. So that's kind of the benchmark right now. <laughs> if we can figure out one by September 2nd, we're doing good. And then we'll work back from there. But I don't foresee, I, I see spring as a time when you compete. Mm -hmm. You know, and, I, and, and I'm excited to watch these guys get out here. And it's going to be pretty level field and playing field. Um, you know, we'll throw, everybody throws their hat in the ring and see what happens. And that could, you know, then they've also got to, you know, it's not just the things they're going to do in practice, but also how they're going to react and how they're going to be during the summer workouts. You know, develop a relationship with their receivers and, their, and the rest of their, their teammates. And there's a lot, of, as you know, Stephen, right? There's a lot to going into being a successful quarterback than just being able to throw a 60-yard bomb, mm -hmm. right? There's, there's other things off the field, too, that matter to me. Coach, you know, speaking about guys that have been here, I know you're excited about a lot of these signees, but uh, maybe a face or two that Aggie fans aren't familiar with that you're excited to see get in this competition, earn a role on this offensive unit that we're not, that don't know a lot about yet. And, um, you know, there's a, 
and I'm going to forget a name because, you know, I'm getting kind of old now, all right? <laughs> but guys I'm excited, guys I think it's really a fun, it's going to be an exciting group for us to watch grow, and, and that's our receiving core. Um, you know, you're talking about, you know, Q, you know, Q Davis, talking about Hansford. You're talking about Chris Clyde. You're talking about Kendricks. Okay, there's four guys that none of us have ever seen play yet, all right? I mean, we saw Hansford run down on one kickoff, I think. And I think that's a very talented group. Now we're going to add this new group that came in in the spring. So you're looking at seven, eight guys there that are that are very talented, um, that we're really excited to get out on the field and be around and, and see what kind of players they are that I think are very skilled guys. So that's that's very exciting to me. I think the running back spot, um, I feel good about that. You know, we, we've got, I don't know which guys I can talk about or not, but I think that's becoming a solid Jacob group. Jacob Kibode has Kibode signed. Has signed in, so, so yeah. you know, and we were looking for kind of to add a big back to this to this class, which we we did. Um, you know, the offensive line is is there's some new names. We lose a couple tackles, so there's going to be a few guys moving around. But last year we pretty much had to play all those young guys anyway, um, so it's going to be fun. Just real quick, uh, Devodrick Buddy Johnson, a linebacker out of Dallas Kimball. He is the newest member to sign in this class. Just sent his facts in, so we make him official. Devodrick Buddy Johnson reaffirmed his commitment to Texas A&M last night. So, Coach Mazzoni, I mean, you've you got some defenders lining up that's going to make it tough on you in practice here pretty soon. That's yeah. great, isn't it? <laughs> now, don't forget, though, we had to try to block Miles and Day Day there for, for a whole spring in a, in a camp. Um, <laughs> But no, it's fun. I think I think the the you know it's exciting. Signing days become whole, totally different. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like you're another season now, mm -hmm. right? And uh, um, not back in the old days when we used to throw all the letter of intents in our cars and we used to have to drive and we'd personally sign every guy and nobody knew who you signed anyway, <laughs> you know. Um, but I think it's a it's a really the the direction. And, and these kids are coming in here now and seeing what's happening at Tex Texas A&M and, and the excitement and the places we want to go with this program. And I think a bunch of these really good football players and some young guys we've already got on the football team see that. And, and uh, I mean, I can feel it. I mean, I'm all about the passion and the energy of, of stuff. And I can walk in the building, I can feel it. Walking out to winter workouts in the weight room, I can feel it. And that's what's exciting. Here's one you'll like, just signed, official Cameron Ori. Uh, he is now in. The facts just arrived. Uh, your thoughts on this tight end? Is that, that that's somewhat of a need? It's position. what we needed. You know, we got we got to have you know. And he big played a lot shot. of offensive line too in high school. Well, he's not. He's a tight end. So now we got a big guy that we can kind of attach to our offensive line and create a few more gaps maybe for the defense to stop. Um, we haven't had a guy like that, so he was huge for us getting into this class. Um, you know, his dad. No, Big Shot Bob. <laughs> right? Rockets, Spurs, one of our, I, Lakers. I think he's only like one of like nine guys that have won six national, uh, six NBA championships. You shortchanged him at seven. Seven. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Big Shot. Sorry. But really excited about Cam coming in here because he really fills a need um, that we don't have. So he's unique to us already as he shows up. Mm -hmm. um, so he, he hopefully he's been working out and he's getting ready to go because we're going to need him. All right, Coach. Big day. Glad you got up early for it, got the haircut. Got the haircut. Joined us the yeah. other day. Took a shower. There you go. Did the whole look good, look young yeah. as ever. Look a lot of signed two quarterbacks. Your Sorry. guys are already in. You can sleep good. I know, it's been awesome. <laughs> right? They were in like right. December, right? They, they, they already showed up. <laughs> good stuff. Thanks so much for the time. Enjoy the rest you of it. You bet, guys. Thank you. All right, that's Noel Mazzoni, our offensive coordinator, right here from 12th Man Studios.